Now, language gives culture, expression, mother tongue, particularly indigenous languages, are also essential for ensuring the continuation and transmission of culture, customs, and history. But then, what about those who use sign language as a home language? What role can language play to preserve our heritage amongst the deaf community? We explore this as we observe Heritage Day by talking to Tlinga Kabu, a board member at the Pan-South African Language Board. Thank you so much for your time on the agenda this morning. It's great to have you indeed. Thank you very much for the invite. Now, t tell us about some of the challenges that members of the deaf community face on the day to day. Okay, um, well, it's a beautiful heritage day, yes, but then when you look at the deaf community, um, most of them you'd find that their parents are hearing, their mother and father is hearing, and they give birth to a baby and they don't even know how to communicate to that deaf baby and the baby is born deaf. So um, as much as yes, we are celebrating, but then that communication, because if the, that child has got siblings who are hearing, they've got access to information they know very well. And then with that deaf child, they've got that lack of access to information because of barrier to language. And later on when they grow up, and you would know that everyone needs to understand their heritage and traditions, but then everything starts from where? The language, because when the baby is born, the baby needs to grow up and know the language. So it also, it develops when it comes to education, language is very important. So another problem with deaf people, they are very behind when it comes to education because yes, it's not yet approved. It's been a challenge, but then there's various challenges that we experience within the deaf community. Indeed, and as we have this conversation, this Heritage Day, it's very important as much as we observe our heritage, but to also be all inclusive as well. What conversations sh should we have in order for us to preserve our you know, heritage, especially in the deaf community? Okay, within the deaf communities, I mean, we've got nine provinces in South Africa. In all provinces, I think the most important thing, firstly, uh, when we're celebrating heritage, with everything that happens, I think deaf communities should be involved in various, um, in various provinces, knowing their own language. So if whether I'm Zulu, Kosa, uh, or Sotswana speaking, well, my parents are from that specific province. So when I'm born from that province, I need to know about my culture. Because for when you look at the provinces, they have different, uh, um, different languages. But then when we come together and we don't even know each other's backgrounds, and yes, I know I need to respect my parents and my mother who is closer, but then, so I would identify myself as closer, yes, if my parents would be uh, uh, hearing. So now, but then sign language and South African sign language, it should be actually not even in a different way. Basically, I think it should be similar like any spoken languages because within a, a, the deaf community, we need to see that inclusion when it comes to, there's a lot of deaf people out there and we expect to be included and not be left behind. And I think that recognition of the deaf community because we want to be out there and deaf people are everywhere in all provinces. Tlinga Grabu is of course a board member there at the uh, Pan-South African Language Board. Thank you so much with your time and of course speaking there through our sign language interpreter, Fortune Majlala.